Meredith, I love you and I like you and I'm so excited to get to marry you in 13 hours. It hasn't been hard. We haven't had all these fights or challenges. Yeah, there are times when we don't communicate the best. That's anyone. But what I love is that we love the Lord and love each other first and foremost, and that makes the rest of it pretty easy. That like dating her has been easy, so it makes me excited for a marriage. I love her kind heart, her compassion for others, that she does stand for what is right, but at the same time has deep empathy and love for so many people. And it's really cool to see that continue to grow and to blossom and how she just wants the best for people. I can't imagine loving you more, but I just know that each day that it's just gonna be such a joy and so much fun getting to do life together and just getting to serve together. And I'm just excited for it and ready for it. And it's taken way too long, but it's finally here. So I love you so much. I've been, I won't let him see the dress or anything. So I've kind of been, keeping all of that from him. So I think that'll be fun to see. Standing here on the brink of our future together, I'm thrilled at the prospect of calling you my wife. I vow to be a partner who listens, who seeks to understand and communicates openly. I will support and encourage your spiritual growth and relationship with Jesus as we seek to glorify God through our marriage. I love you more than any fight or disagreement that we'll have. I love you more than any amount of distance keeping us apart. And I'm so grateful that you have chosen to spend your life with me. Whatever life throws at us, I know we will be able to handle it together. And I'm so grateful that you have chosen to spend your life with me. So when I say that I love you more than anything, I don't say it out of habit, I say it as a reminder of this day, of my unwavering commitment to our covenant. I love you, Meredith. I love you so much.